All right, hello everyone. Today is day eight of Advent of Code, and we're under a minute out. I have everything set up already over here. Uh, I stream this live on Twitch every day, so if you're interested, go over there and follow me. And yeah, hoping top 1,000 would be great, but the the problems have gotten harder, so I'm not too hopeful about that. But at least if it's fast fast twitch, then I think that I have a little bit of an advantage, you know, <clears throat> as long as I, I see the algorithm. Last night was pretty terrible. I just like couldn't figure out how to use a tree. But uh, maybe maybe this night it'll, it'll be my night. All right, five seconds. Okay, and get the input. What are we looking at? Okay, so we have some grid. Uh, the expected is 21. So we want a, a grid of integers. Um, That looks like a, a grid. Wait. All right, that's uh, that is a grid. Um, okay, cool. For. Okay, so I need to count um, T uh, greater than Per high and plus plus per high equals t, and then for i then row minus one i greater than negative one i minus minus row i reset her high row i and then I need to do this for the columns
It's giving us 40. That's not correct. Okay. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I need a set. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. How do you add stuff? This is a crappy set. Who wrote this? Uh, how do I just make an empty set? Oh, I, I can't. Oh, nice. <laughs> Viewing distance in each of the four directions.
This is a pretty cool problem. Okay, so um, Okay, so <clears throat> R equals R cur R minus minus, no wait, no, uh, cur R greater than minus one greater than zero R minus minus. Um, Height if um, d dot grid per r c is less than height. then up. down r plus one less than when d dot grid plus plus Down, down, left, pants equals dot max pants score left. Uh, okay, so for her C is C minus one. C her C is greater than zero. Her C minus minus. Left. Her C is C plus one. Her C less than len D dot grid zero. Her C plus plus R her C. Part two. This totally didn't work. Okay. What?
Is this running? Oh, oh my gosh, I am just so stupid. Okay, still, it's it's just not working. D is always zero. No. <laughs> zero, one, two, th so three, zero, one, two, three, two. Up is one, down is one. Um. Is it one indexed? No. Okay, I, I guess I should read the thing a bit more. Because 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, so 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1. Let's do this. But then if r equals zero or c equals zero or r equals len d dot grid minus one or c equals len d dot grid zero minus one continue. Oh, that's so close. Up three? Row.
So 2, 1. No, wait, 2, 2. 1, 2. Five. So three, five. This is where it should stop. Oh my gosh. I am so bad at coding. Holy crap. Oh wait, no. Um One, two, one, zero, one, two. Left is one. Up should only be one. One is up, up one. So one, one. No, wait, one, two. Up one, down one, right one. Score of one, two is 12. Zero, one, zero, one, two. Okay, so this five. Yeah, 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 okay. So up is, it, it says it's two, but it, it should only be one. Two, two, one, three. It should be one, one, two, two. Up. Left. Two, one. So left is correct. Right is incorrect. So up and up is too high and right is too high. Down is fine. So up is and and right. Uh, on one, okay, on one, two, one, comma, two, twelve. Wait, okay, so one, two, we have up of two. Up. 
and it's three. Do I just need to start this at zero? And then write at zero, maybe? <laughs> Up and left. Down and right, okay. But then zero, one, two, three, one, two. Three, two has a score of two. That is wrong. That is just straight up incorrect. RC of three, two. Up should be two. Down is one, left is two. Okay, okay. Let me start this over. I don't know, ah, uh, man. Do I want this part? I don't actually think so. Like the edges are always zero, right? Like because the product is always zero. So I don't even need to consider those. But let's just eval it anyway. So one, zero, one, two. One, two is what I care about. Up, zero, two. Okay. If C if C 
we are grid at current row column is greater than or equal to height break otherwise up plus plus One, two, looking up is one. One, two, three, zero, one, two, three, three, two, up, zero, two, 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 up is one so three two up is two. Oh, maybe I need to do that. That's probably what I needed to do. Damn it. Why am I getting 12? Oh wait, hold on. Horrifying, horrifying, horrifying. Wow, I just could not understand, like I just didn't do that right at all. At least I was sub 3000, that's impressive. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, what was the damage tonight? Wow, one. Wow, six, six. Wow, oh my gosh. Crazy. Looks like Jaden beat me. 
I beat him on part one at least, and then I just collapsed on part two. Holy crap. I, okay. What was wrong about this method? I don't know. I mean, I guess I just was miscounting. Like, I, I don't even want to try and... Well, I guess I really should do it. Uh, 2022.08 solve. I should really do a uh, evaluation of this and see what, why, like, what was wrong with this? Yeah, I mean, I guess it just fundamentally I had to go increment and then if it was greater than break. Hey, I got a silver. I, I leaderboarded. This is this is an improvement. This is an, a, a major improvement. <clears throat> I are I podiumed. So okay. Um yeah, part one went really well, I thought. Like the reading in the input was was effective. I think that this is pretty efficient. I don't even think that I need to do any changes here. I mean the only other thing would be to like yeah, I don't even know, like, I guess not store the row as a variable and just append straight into the 2D array. Um, my set utilities kind of let me down. Let's just check, okay, so Let's put our add and remove, contains, intersection, new set. I need an empty set. Set T, return. Set to, yeah. I don't know. I think this is probably fine. Empty set is probably pointless as a function. Um, Okay, so uh, current high. So one thing that went well was having this lib.columns thing. This was very effective. Um, because this was a lot. This allowed me to just like flip the grid and then just do the exact same code. Um, so that. That was good.
Um, let's see here. So yeah, the, the, yeah. The nice thing about columns is it just allows me to iterate as if it was just a uh, transpose, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay, and then the trick was to keep a set of all of the points that were covered. Oh, let me add the actual uh, value, correct answer down here. Yeah, so you keep a set of um, visible trees. which are just a point. Um, and then we iterate from the left and, to, and then we just count however many trees are higher than all the previous trees. And then we do the exact same thing going back the other direction along the row. And uh, then, um, yeah, it may be useful to have a list function that just does reverse lib lists. Uh, so this can make it a little bit cleaner because then the code will literally be the same for both directions. It's a little bit inefficient, but like, who cares? For um, then input minus one, i greater than or equal to zero, i minus minus, output append uh, input i turn okay so now i can just do the exact same code that that should work that should not work okay why did that not work Ah, because the column is opposite. Hmm, yeah, okay. So this was the correct way. Keeping track of the index was the correct way because I do need the index for dealing with the point. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't really think that there's even any refactoring that I care about doing. Like, it, it worked. It was fine. Wait, what is, what's changed? Oh, there we go. Okay. So then this is where things just went off the rails. Like I just didn't know how to do this correctly. <laughs> well, I did, I just, I guess I didn't read. I, I, th this was kind of confusing. The bounds checking was really annoying. Not gonna lie. Um, okay, so I can make the optimization of um, one r plus less than or equal to less than len p dot grid. Minus one r plus plus k, and then c 
is going to be from 1, c is less than none, b that grid 0 minus 1, c plus plus, b that grid r, c. So this, this is a nice optimization because the edges are always going to have at least one thing that's zero. Height. Okay, and then we just count however, so we go to the previous one, up plus plus. So the number of things up is added, is incremented, if there is an element there. And then if it's, if it's, um, if it's taller, or equal to the, the thing, the current tree house, the tr current tree, then we just stop, we don't go any further. And we just do this in all the directions and yeah, yeah. Um, and then just do a max. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today. Let's commit the cleanup. This was an interesting problem. I kind of liked it. Um, yeah, happy happy that um, uh, I was able to return to the top 1,000 again. That was cool for part one. Uh, that that's that was a needed confidence boost. Most definitely. So um, yeah, we'll we'll call it there. I'm gonna update my uh, blog post as well, and then uh, we'll be at it again tomorrow. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Come over and follow me on Twitch. There's a link um, for you to do that uh, in the description. So. Let's find somebody to raid. I know we don't have a ton of viewers here, but may as well find someone. Who is still doing advent of code? I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording for YouTube.